Apex Legends is a popular battle royale game that has taken the gaming world by storm. With its fast-paced action, intense battles, and stunning graphics, the game is a favorite among players of all skill levels. But as many games, it requires certain hardware specifications to run smoothly. Legends, my name is Professor Mo, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you the ultimate guide to optimizing your settings for the maximum FPS in Apex Legends. Whether you're a hardcore competitive player or a casual player looking for a smoother experience, experience, these tips will help you to get the most out of your hardware and elevate your gameplay to new levels. So grab your mouse and keyboards and get ready to dominate the battlefield with lightning fast performance and smoother as butter gameplay in Apex Legends. So many things can affect your FPS in battle royale games, even the strongest hardware in the market may struggle to keep up in terms of frames since there are too many elements to render in battle royale games, especially Apex Legends. I mean, think about it. Rendering 60 players and the countless activities in a huge map isn't a simple task to do. Well, many players are willing to sacrifice visual fidelity for higher FPS, especially when playing in ranked or in tournaments. Even professional players with powerful PCs like Imperial Hell prefer keeping their settings at the lowest ratios to get stable frames and avoid frame drops during intense moments. However, Apex Legends may not look too graphically intense from a distance, rendering 60 players on a huge map with plenty of activities going on at once can take a toll on your PC, particularly if you aren't using top-of-the-line hardware. If your settings are tuned too high, your frames might start slowing down, which can lead to frustration when the lag causes you to lose a fight or miss an enemy. While you won't be able to witness the true beauty of Apex Legends maps, if you lower your settings, doing so could give you a competitive advantage over your opponents. With that in mind, I dug up into Apex Legends settings and did a little research, and now, ladies and gentlemen, I found some great ways to increase FPS in Apex Legends. Regardless of shitty servers, increasing your FPS is possible, guys. Let's get started right now. If you want to pull out the highest FPS out of your PC's ass, you're gonna need to follow these 7 settings. First one to mention is the display mode. Always have it on full screen. No matter what, it should be on full screen if you wanna play Apex Legends. And if you expect a higher FPS, you're gonna need to put the display mode on full screen. The full screen display mode allows your system to only focus on rendering Apex Legends and nothing else. In addition to trying to render your desktop and other tabs, windowed options introduce some input lag, which can be the plague of the competitive games like Apex Legends. Tip number two would be aspect ratio and resolution. Put both of them on native and that's it. Well, if your system is running on fumes and you're desperate to squeeze out a couple more frames, you can try lowering your resolution. This reduces the number of pixels to be rendered and increases the FPS by a nice margin. Also, it's worth mentioning that lowering your resolution comes at a cost of a more stretched viewing experience. However, if you lower it too far, it may be harder to recognize enemies from the environment. Tip number three, or setting number three, is the brightness. Some people think brightness will affect your FPS, but I assure you, this setting does not have an impact on overall FPS, so go with whatever works for your eyes. Tip number four, or setting number four, would be field of view. Everybody likes field of view different. I personally have it on 110, but the recommended one would be 90. So field of view will have an impact impact on your FPS. In order to increase your FPS, you can try to put the field of view on 90. This setting is supposed to be on whatever amount you're comfortable with. 90 is the recommended one in order to increase your FPS. Keep it in mind, if you don't know this, field of view will affect your aim. Basically, it affects your mouse movement on the rotation. So it does affect your aim, and it does affect your overall gameplay. Most pro players prefer setting their field of view to 110 since it allows them to have a wider vision. This also increases the number of frames that needed to be rendered, which could cause your FPS to struggle in return. An FOV of 90 offers the best of both worlds, but I recommend you try it yourself. Overall, I'm used to 110, so I'm not gonna change it. Never ever. Yeah. It might be the same case for you. Try it out yourself. Tip number 5. Sprint view shake, put it on minimal, that's it. Just put it on minimal, don't ask, but if you wish, I can explain it to you, a little. Not too much, we're not gonna go into details. Constant movement requires new objects to be rendered in or out. The shaking effects that occurs while running may seem more realistic, but it also affects the performance a little by introducing an additional motion source. Grab a pen and a sticky note and write this down. Keeping this setting at minimal also makes it easier to spot enemies while running. This is super important. Tip number six or setting number six. V-Sync. Disable it. Put it on disabled ED. 
V-Sync doesn't affect your frames, but enabling it introduces input lag. In competitive games like Apex Legends, even milliseconds can make a difference. So, I recommend keeping V-Sync disabled. Tip number 7 or setting number 7, which would be the last one by the way, is adaptive resolution FPS target. Put it on zero. That's it. This setting is great for anyone looking to keep their FPS high, but it achieves its purpose in a disturbing way. Overall, it is a great option if you're looking to squeeze out a couple more frames out of your PC's ass, but keep it in mind, it comes at a cost of a lower visual quality. In summary, making these adjustments to your settings in Apex Legends can improve your FPS, giving you a competitive edge over other players. However, it is important to note that even with these changes, if your PC is not up to task, you may still experience lag or frame drops. If that is the case for you, it may be the time to consider upgrading your hardware. Alright, alright, alright. I hope with these settings you're able to increase your FPS. If I miss anything, if I forget to mention something, please comment it down below, let me know, I would love to know. So, if the video was helpful to you and you wish to support me, just like the video. And if you want this type of content, subscribe so you don't get behind. And also, give me a kiss. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and peace! Professor! Oh!